Hey guys, how are you doing and welcome back. So Garmin is pretty much considered as a top sport watch brand with great built-in GPS, activity tracking and health trackers. And the Garmin Venue 2 is not only a great sport watch, but the Venue series is also a good smartwatch series. Now with the new Samsung Gauge Watch 6, I'm not quite sure if the Venue 2 can still compete in those areas. So today we will find out which one is the better sport watch and which one is the better smart watch. This one also applies to the Venue 2 Plus since this one basically only has an extra mic and a speaker for the voice assistant and on risk calls. So without further ado, let's get started and first up the price. So right now the Gags Watch 6 44mm Bluetooth edition comes in at a price of 350 euros over here in Germany. And if we take a look at the Garmin Venue 2, on the official webpage, this one still costs 350 euros after all of those years. But I have to tell you that there are some great deals out there and you can already get this watch for around 290 in some online stores if you're lucky, but just comparing the Samsung and the Garmin store, these two watches cost the same amount. As for next, let's talk about the accuracy of the GPS. If you've been following this channel over the last couple of years, you probably know that the Garmin Venue 2 is in the top three of my favorite sport and smartwatches. And part of that was the style, but also the accuracy of the GPS and the activity tracking. Now, if I pull up some GPS routes of my past runs, the lines of the Venue 2 are definitely shaky and not as accurate as other smartwatches in 2023. The GPS lines jump from one sidewalk to the other every once in a while and they don't cut corners short like basically every smartwatch. They always go past the corner and then come back on track. It's also that much off track that it shows that I'm swimming in the near river instead of running on the sidewalk right next to it. So I'm really not that impressed off the GPS anymore. The Samsung Galaxy Watch 6 is a lot better and I didn't expect that since the Galaxy Watch 5 from last year wasn't that great. It doesn't matter if I'm in the park or surrounded by some buildings, the GPS is spot on, even if I run in a small circuit of just about two meter radius. It tracks it perfectly. So if you are looking for a good smartwatch with great GPS, this one is it. After the GPS comes the sport modes and we definitely have more of them available on the Samsung Galaxy Watch 6. There are countless sport modes like running, walking, swimming, ball sports, specific gym workouts like butterflies and arm curls, and you have a running coach. This one gives you 10 preset workouts like light walking coach, brisk walking, light jogging, or speed run endurance. And you can also customize the workout display. You can add up to six different metrics or even go down to just two. The Garmin Venue 2 is also not shabby at all. Like the Samsung Watch, you can customize your workout display. You don't get six, but still four metrics at the same time. You can also change the accent colors if you want to. The next thing are the workouts. You may only get around 30 workouts, but these 30 are much better than the 100 that you get on the Samsung Watch. Because right here, most of the workouts, like running, cycling, and so on, have different workouts. For example, the running, right here you can choose between mixed intervals, quarter mile repeats and run walk. And the cycling you can choose between build endurance, mile repeats and speed sprints. For strength training, you get 30 minute blast, dumbbell body makeover and total body muscle. And the list just goes on. So right here, I would give the Garmin Vineyard 2 the advantage. All right, up to the health tracking features and let's start with the Garmin Vineyard 2. This one can track your SP2 level, your heart rate, stress level and your respiration rate. And of course you get a sleep tracker that will track your different sleep cycles. Plus you get to see your movements during the night and your SP2 level. As for last, you have the Garmin body battery, which pretty much tells you how much energy you have left for the day. The Samsung watch basically has all of those features as well. You get a heart rate tracker, a stress and sleep tracker. You don't get to see your respiration rate, but therefore you have an ECG monitor, blood pressure measurement, skin temperature during the night and the body composition that will give you a lot of information. The battery life is the probably biggest difference and this time I mean it. Even though the Samsung Galaxy Watch 6 now comes with a slightly bigger battery, this one still only lasts about one or two days depending on your usage. The Garmin Venue 2 is great when it comes to the battery life. According to Garmin, this one lasts for about 11 days, 
which I definitely approve. I think it's even a little bit longer the way I'm using it. Now let's check out some of the smart features of both of these watches and let's start with the Garmin Vineyard 2. On the Garmin Vineyard 2 you get the IQ Connect Store with quite a few but very sport related apps. Right here you will find also Spotify, Amazon Music and since you get some internal storage you can download songs, playlists and podcasts to the watch and listen to them offline as long as you have a Spotify Premium account. On this watch you can also receive all of your messages like WhatsApp, emails and missed calls and you can even reply with some quick reply options. As for the watch faces, right here you do get some but they are not very special, not animated and you get some pretty plain digital and analog watch faces which are customizable. You can also create your own watch face, you get a few templates and you can mix them together and use it afterwards. Actually not that bad. And that's already it for the Venue 2. The Samsung Watch 6 has all of the same features just with a bigger and better app store and the watch faces look a lot better and you get a much bigger variety and more customization options. This one also has a lot of other cool features like you can take screenshots of your current watch face, you get a WhatsApp app in which you see all of your conversation and you can text people and write a text on the keyboard, send voice messages or emojis. Unlike with the Garmin, on the Samsung you can customize your two buttons. Like this you can quickly open up the Google or Bixby voice assistant, you can check all of your recently opened tabs or open up any of your default apps. You also have a built in mic and a speaker and like this you can receive and decline M calling calls or star calls right from your wrist and talk right on your watch and if you have the 4G version you don't even need your phone with you anymore. So overall I would give the Samsung watch a big advantage when it comes down to the smart features. Now I think you should definitely go with the Samsung Galaxy Watch 6 as this one has a much better built in GPS and you get tons of smart features. I would take the Garmin Vineyard 2 if you really care about the long battery life and the different sport modes and workouts you get with this watch. Now guys, that's already it for today. I also compared the Galaxy Watch 6 to other smartwatches like the Apple Watch SE 2 or the older version of the Galaxy Watch. Just click right here to get right to the videos and I guess with that one being said, I will see you in the next one. Peace.